Hi, the next topic we are going to discuss is state gets and observables in the Schrodinger and the Heisenberg pictures. In the last session, we said that uh, there can be two different approaches to unitary transformations. We can either talk about the unitary transformation of the states or the unitary transformations of uh, operators, observables. Okay. In the first approach, states change under the unitary transformation and operators remain the same. There will be no change to the operators. Okay, this is the first approach. So we can write it like this. In the first approach, state changes under unitary transformations, whereas operators, for example, the position operator it remains the same, does not change. Okay, this was approach one. In the second approach, the states remain the same, whereas the operators, for example, the position operators change according to this relation u dagger x u okay and we saw that in both cases the expectation values change the same way okay whether you use approach one or approach two the the expectation values change in the same way in this session we shall focus on the two different approaches for time evolution these two approaches are called the schrodinger picture and the heisenberg picture so let's now return to the time evolution operator u of t comma t0. When we discussed time evolution, we said that states change according to this relation. Okay, the state at a later time is given by the effect of the unitary time evolution operator on the initial ket. So here we talked about the change of state kets under time evolution. This means that we were actually following approach one because in this case, we didn't, we didn't say anything about the change of operators, all right? Only states change with time. So this is approach one. And the approach one that we already discussed is known as the Schrodinger picture, okay? So approach one to time evolution has the name, the Schrodinger picture. Now, alternatively, we may follow approach two to time evolution, all right? And this approach is known as the Heisenberg picture of time evolution, okay? So in the Schrodinger picture, the operators corresponding to observables like the position, momentum, or the Z component of spin, these are all fixed in time. They don't change. Okay. But state kits vary with time according to the equation that we already saw. But if we go to the Heisenberg picture, the operators corresponding to observables vary with time and the state kits remain the same. They are fixed. Okay. Now, for convenience, let's set t0 equal to 0 in the time evolution operator. And we shall denote it simply as u of t, where u of t actually stands for u of t comma 0. Okay? And the form of this time evolution operator is exponential minus iht divided by h bar, as we have already seen. So this is the form of the time evolution operator if the Hamiltonian does not depend on time. We have seen that in approach 2, operators change according to this relation. A goes to u dagger a u under unitary transformations. Okay, This unitary transformation could be a space translation, it could be a rotation, or it could be time evolution. So if we do this in the case of time evolution, we have the Heisenberg picture. Okay, Let's denote the operators in the Heisenberg picture with the superscript h. Right? So in the Heisenberg picture, the the operator at time t is related to the operator at time 0 by a relation of this kind where we have the time evolution operator here. Okay, So a h of t is equal to u dagger of t a h of 0 u of t. This is how operators evolve in the Heisenberg picture. Now in the Schrodinger picture, we can denote the operators with the superscript s and they are they do not depend on time. They remain the same at all times. Okay, Which means that the Schrodinger picture operator is the same at all times and it's the same as the Heisenberg picture operator at time 0. Okay, So A s can be written as A h of 0. Right? No change in time. All right. So the Heisenberg picture operator at time 0 is the Schrodinger picture operator at all times. In other words, at t equal to 0, the Heisenberg picture observable and the corresponding Schrodinger picture observable uh, coincide. Okay, a h of 0 can be written as a s. Now, if we do that in here, we get 
a h of t is equal to u dagger of t a s u of t okay so we get a relation connecting the schrodinger picture operator and the heisenberg picture operator okay so given the schrodinger picture operator which is the same as the heisenberg picture operator at time t0 we can find the heisenberg picture operator at any time okay that's the relation we have here a h of t is equal to u dagger of t a s u of t okay now if you are given the heisenberg picture operator at time t we can find the schrodinger picture operator from it right so if we take, if we look at this relation we can multiply let's multiply by u on the left and u dagger on the right okay so u a h of t u dagger so let me write it like this u of t a h of t u dagger of t okay we apply it to the right hand side since u u dagger all right when we apply a u here u u dagger is the identity operator that's unitarity okay so since u u dagger is the identity operator this becomes identity operator a s and on the right we have u u dagger okay on the right also we have u u dagger which is one so again the identity operator so from here you see that since this is the identity operator we have the schrodinger picture operator is equal to u of t the heisenberg operator heisenberg picture operator at time t multiplied by u dagger of t okay using this relation you can find the schrodinger picture operator if you are given the heisenberg picture operator at any time okay coming to the state gates in the heisenberg picture the state gates remain the same at all times whereas in the schrodinger picture the state gates change with time so the state gates at time t equal to 0 coincide in both pictures so at time t equal to 0 we can simply denote the state as get alpha comma t0 equal to 0 but the state gets at later time are different in heisenberg picture and the schrodinger picture because in heisenberg picture the state at a later time is the same as the state at t equal to 0 whereas in the schrodinger picture the state at a later time okay is related to the state at the initial time by the effect of the uh, time evolution operator on the initial ket okay so this is how state gets change in the schrodinger picture we have seen that the heisenberg picture and the schrodinger picture describe time evolution differently but when it comes to the measurement results both these pictures coincide for example the expectation value is the same in both pictures let's first look at the expectation value in the schrodinger picture in the state ket alpha comma t0 equal to 0 at time t okay so we know that the expectation value in a given state is uh, written in this manner right a s is a schrodinger picture operator this is the expectation value in the state get alpha comma t0 equal to 0 at time t we also write a subscript s here to show that this is the expectation value in the schrodinger picture now in schrodinger picture states evolve in time all right so get alpha comma t0 equal to 0 at time t can be written as u of t acting on get alpha comma t0 equal to 0 this means that bra alpha comma t0 equal to 0 at time t is written as bra alpha comma t0 equal to 0 u dagger of t okay now if we substitute these things back in here the expectation value in the schrodinger picture becomes bra alpha comma t0 equal to 0 u dagger okay and then we have got this a s the operator in the schrodinger picture and then the state get at time t u of t get alpha comma t0 equal to 0 okay so for the state get at time t0 equal to 0 we are not introducing any subscript because in both pictures the state gets at time t equal to 0 coincide all right so here there is a subscript of course all right but over here we don't introduce any subscript okay because this is the same in both heisenberg picture and the schrodinger picture the state at time t equal to 0 is the same they coincide in both these pictures okay now we can use the associative property we see that 
we have an expression u dagger a s u of t okay but we already know that a h of t is given by u dagger a s u okay we already saw this we saw that the heisenberg picture operator and the schrodinger picture operator are related by this expression because the schrodinger picture operator is the same as the heisenberg picture operator at time t equal to 0 all right now if we put this in here we get this is equal to bra alpha comma t0 equal to 0 and this is a h of t get alpha comma t0 equal to 0 now what is this this is the expectation value of the operator at time t in the in the heisenberg picture okay so this is the expectation value in the heisenberg picture so we can put a subscript h in here all right so we see that the expectation values are the same in both pictures when it comes to the evolution when it comes to the time evolution of expectation values something that we can access uh, in a measurement all right when it comes to the time evolution of expectation values both the pictures coincide okay so when it comes to the results of measurements both pictures give the same predictions we can use either picture according to our convenience okay we have discussed the schrodinger picture of time evolution and the heisenberg picture of time evolution in the schrodinger picture the state gets evolved in time so the state get at time t in the schrodinger picture is equal to u of t acting on the initial state get okay but in the heisenberg picture the state gets remain the same at all times so the state get at time t in the heisenberg picture is the same as the state get at time t equal to 0 okay no change similarly uh, in the case of operators in schrodinger picture the operators do not change in time all right so the operator in the schrodinger picture at any time t is the same as the operator at time t equal to 0 we can simply write it as as because it has no time dependence whereas in the heisenberg pictures the operator whereas in the heisenberg picture the operator at time t is related to the operator at time t equal to 0 by this equation a h of t is equal to u dagger of t a h of 0 u of t we also saw that the state gets coincide at time t equal to 0 that means that the state get at time t equal to 0 in the schrodinger picture is the same as the state get at time t equal to 0 in the heisenberg picture which means that we don't need this subscript we can simply write the initial state get as get alpha comma t0 equal to 0 because initial state is the same in both pictures all right so we don't have to write this uh, subscript s or h for the initial state for the state at time t equal to 0 okay similarly the operators also coincide at time t equal to 0 in both pictures all right so the schrodinger picture operator which is the same at all times is equal to the heisenberg picture operator at time t equal to 0 so initially they are the same but after some time this will remain the same whereas this will have changed according to this relation okay now using this a s equal to a h of 0 in this equation we can also write a h of t is equal to u dagger of t a s u of t because a h of 0 is equal to a s we can also write the inverse relation by multiplying with the u on the left and the u dagger on the right so we can write a s is equal to u of t a h of t u dagger of t okay so these relations can be used to relate the heisenberg picture operator and the schrodinger picture operator okay similarly we can also do for the schrodinger picture state and the heisenberg picture state right because if you look at this equation get alpha comma t0 equal to 0 at time t in the schrodinger picture is equal to u of t acting on get alpha comma t0 equal to 0 no need for the subscript all right but this is also the state at all times in the heisenberg picture we see that get alpha comma t0 equal to 0 is the same as get alpha comma t0 equal to 0 at time t in the heisenberg picture so we can also write this as get alpha comma t0 equal to 0 at time t in the schrodinger picture is equal to u of t acting on get alpha comma t0 equal to 0 
at time t in the Heisenberg picture. So this relates the states in the Schrodinger and the Heisenberg picture. Of course, this equation also can be inverted. We can also find the inverse relation. You just multiply by a u dagger on the left. So we can write get alpha comma t0 equal to 0 at time t in the Heisenberg picture is equal to u dagger of t acting on get alpha comma t0 equal to 0 at time t in the Schrodinger picture. So this is the relation between operators in both pictures and this is the, these are the relations between states in both pictures. Okay. Now finally we saw that even though the description of time evolution is different in both pictures, right, they both predict the same time dependence, the same time dependence for the expectation values. In other words, the expectation values are the same in both pictures. Okay. With that, I shall conclude the session. I hope you have followed the lecture. Thank you.